surprise for you today uh the corrado if you haven't seen last night's upload check it out lots of progress being made on the corrado build but the surprise is it's snowing you see it's a little bit too warm it's like 30 yeah warm 35 uh, degrees uh but too warm for it to stick so unfortunately we won't be getting any fun snow days with the quad i want to start out today by saying uh there's some very exciting news coming up the zr1 is on its way. It will be here in about two days. That's right, we are down to two days for the ZR1. The 2019 ZR1 delivery should be the first customer delivered car out there in the whole country, in the whole world. Gonna be absolutely insane. I can't wait for that car. The spoiler and the ground effects have arrived at the dealership already. Now those parts have to be installed as part of the PDI. I believe stands for post delivery inspection, but uh, those parts are applied, put on by your dealer. Here we have Mac Attack 717 Victor in the Cummins. But yeah, get ready boys, the ZR1 is finally fucking here. I'm so hyped to make content with that vehicle. Now, we are taking the speed lines to Tire Mart to get new tires installed. Unfortunately, two of these no longer hold air and they're all pretty old and dry rotted, so I wanna get some new ones. I think we're also picking up a hood for an F-150, right? Cool. So when Victor came over and brought my impact last night, again, if you haven't seen the video, check it out. Got the front struts off, gotta start on the back when I get home. And then uh, the Raceland coilovers, overnighted from Utah. Really? Not Japan. Uh, overnighted from Utah, should be here tomorrow morning. And uh, then we can put some wheels and tires on her and she will be drivable. The damage is getting <laughs> so nice. Not having to pick up truck wheels. I <laughs> actually commit suicide. In the Dodge, back in the Dodge. When are we going to the gym again, dude? We're not. As, as, as he eats the Chick-fil-A that I got for him because we're both fat fucks. I did not get that on camera, but that was bad. How bad was that? That was pretty bad. This guy just pulled out like, but it was weird because he saw us. Like saw us and then decided just to keep I'm going. I'm going to mosey my <laughs> way on out. Yeah, he had, he had no sense of urgency at all. Like who pulls out in front of a 9,000 pound truck? You can pull it right in front of uh, Justin's Bay over there, the end bay. And then we can just drop the wheels off because he's the one who will, he'll be doing it. We're back at Tire Mart, folks. As always, 4914 Jonestown Road, Harrisburg, PA. About to drop off these Corrado speed lines and get the new tires put on. I got some hand kooks, cooks, whatever. Are they hand, is it kook or cook? I think it's cook. I think it's cook. I think it's cook. You think it's cook? Yeah, I think it's cook. I think the commercial's like hand cooked tire. Hand cooked tires. Yeah. They were like 80 bucks each. All right, always easy. What are you doing over there, dude? Fun and dipping. So I'm not sure if you guys caught that, but it was a fucking Chevy HHR with the back half of it chopped off in like a pickup truck bed. I, I don't, I, I've never seen that. I don't know if that's... Dude. Did somebody put that front end on something? Did somebody cut an HHR off? These are the questions we will never have the answers to, unfortunately, but that was fucking savage. Victor is in the FedEx center. He's now walking out without a box, so I don't think things have gone well. This is our second center trying to find this package. What happened, buddy? <laughs> I noticed that you don't have a box with you. Uh, what happened? So we need to go to that one. We gotta go to another, we gotta go to three FedEx centers. I just started talking about this. So that guy was a lot more helpful than the first person. He actually figured out where it is. Swinging. We're swinging around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, really, it seems really difficult to get this. Stopping. How's it going? I'm here to pick up a package. Victor? We've been given a map now by FedEx, taken from Google. <laughs> it's like a treasure hunt. You're like, what are you? Like, what the fuck? This is just picking up a package <laughs> that was supposed to be delivered to your home. Park, use ramp glass doors office. This is great. There he goes. Poor Victor. All the guy wanted was a hood for his F-150. By the way, if you are not following me on Instagram, check it out. I post all kinds of awesome shit. Here we got some Corrado concept art. 
what have we got 1900 likes in uh, 17 minutes not bad now I'm at 231,000 followers looking to hit a quarter of a million soon on Instagram or Instagram oh, great success buddy we got the box now to get the Corrado wheels which are done already <laughs> have been done before? yeah the, the Corrado wheels have been done uh, so that took a lot less time than getting the fucking box from FedEx. Brand new tires for the Corrado on the original speed lines. Now these are not going to be on the car permanently, just on the car until the new tarmacs come in and then those will be a spare set. Now we gotta get the rear struts out of the car. A Little bit more complicated than the fronts. I think we can bang it out pretty quick. I lucked out. These guys came over and now they're working on the car and I'm not. Right. <laughs> but I did find some mouse poop up here in the carpet. You can see that is definitely mouse poop. So that would suggest to me that the car was sitting for a, well, at least for some time because the mice made a home inside of it. But the good news is we now can access the top of the strut mounts. Victor's got the bottom bolt out. I just paint off. <laughs> <laughs> A few of the bolts holding on the uh, the plastic piece weren't tight either. So, I don't know who did the job last, but... Wait, no, secondary. Hold on. Yeah, the, the similarity between the Spax and the McLaren? Oh, they're exactly the same. What you're doing, take pictures before you take it apart. Oh, that's a lovely bit of asbestos. Is it asbestos? Probably. Probably. You know how much of that shit I inhale every day? I stop doing that, you're gonna get cancer. Yeah, but I'm, I'm rarely ever sick. Boil over. All right. Kind of. I mean, it's not just a little bit. It's yeah, not it's just a little there as well. Well, there you go, folks. Major progress being made on the Corrado. I mean, it took me a little while to get started on it, but we are moving pretty quick now, I think. Uh, we got the old suspension out over there on the floor. We got new suspension on the way. We got new wheels and tires uh, ready to go for the car when the coilovers go on. Then we have the real set, you know, the cool set of wheels and tires coming soon. And you can see I got the carpeting back in. Everything went together pretty good. I got to glue uh, some of these little clips back on. Um, you know, very old plastic, just really brittle, but should be nothing that some Gorilla Glue can't handle. Unfortunately, the ZR1 is, I mean, that's not unfortunate. It's great news. The ZR1 is going to be here in two days, but uh, there is now snow on the ground, as you can see. Hopefully you can see there. Um, my, my one hope is that just there's no salt on the roads. Um, it looks like the snow has stopped for now. So hopefully they don't salt them. The roads are not icy or snowy, just wet. If they do salt the roads, I don't think I will be driving the ZR1 home from the dealership from Whitmore. I will most likely be, uh, trailering it back, which nobody wants to see. Everyone wants to see the car driving and uh, I'm de either way. I'm going to at least like turn it on, give you some revs at the event. And again, uh, when we know for sure the exact time it's going to show up, I was going to say something different, but what I will do is I will post on Instagram for sure. So definitely follow me if you don't already at street speed, 717, follow me there and I'll post up the exact time when the car gets delivered and everybody's welcome to come out, hang out for the day, see the car come off the truck and it should be really fun. 2019 one content about 48 hours away. I cannot wait. Like I said, it should be the first ever customer delivered car in the world. Hope that you guys enjoyed this upload. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.